Hello friends. In this video we will discuss the most important expected questions which may be asked in the exam of Surveyor Civil Engineer Post, exam taken by Gujarat Subordinate Service Selection Board, exam will be taken on the 1st of April 2018. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Shale, slate, marble, limestone, and sandstones, etc. are stratified rocks. Shale, slate, marble, limestone, and sandstones, etc. are stratified rocks. Slenderness ratio of a compression member is the ratio of effective length of the compression member to the radius of gyration. Slenderness ratio of a compression member is the ratio of effective length of the compression member to the radius of gyration. The effective length of a battened column should be increased by 10%. The effective length of a battened column should be increased by 10%. The occurrence of the completion of an activity is called its head event. The occurrence of the completion of an activity is called its head event. Which of the following is an activity? Construction of foundation. Construction of roof. Construction of superstructure. All of these are activities. Which of the following is an activity? Construction of foundation. Construction of roof. Construction of superstructure. All of these are activities. The section in which concrete is not fully stressed to its permissible value when stress in steel reaches its maximum value, is called under reinforced section. The section in which concrete is not fully stressed to its permissible value when stress in steel reaches its maximum value, is called under reinforced section. The breadth of rib in a T-beam should at least be equal to one-third the depth of rib. The breadth of rib in a T-beam should at least be equal to one-third the depth of rib. The continuous strain, which the concrete undergoes due to application of external loads, is called creep. The continuous strain, which the concrete undergoes due to application of external loads, is called creep. The phenomenon by virtue of which the cement does not undergo large change in volume when treated with water, is known as soundness. 
the phenomenon by virtue of which the cement does not undergo large change in volume when treated with water, is known as soundness. The cement concrete prepared by mixing aluminium in it, is called air entrained concrete. Cellular concrete. Air heated concrete. Any one of these. The cement concrete prepared by mixing aluminium in it, is called air entrained concrete. Cellular concrete. Air heated concrete. Any one of these. The material having particle size varying from 0.002 to 0.06 mm is termed as silt. The material having particle size varying from 0.002 to 0.06 mm is termed as silt. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. If longitudinal strain is tensile, the lateral strain will be compressive. If longitudinal strain is tensile, the lateral strain will be compressive. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. A course of stone provided immediately below a cornice, is called freeze. A course of stone provided immediately below a cornice, is called freeze. In brick knotting type of partition wall, the vertical wooden members are called studs. In brick knotting type of partition wall, the vertical wooden members are called studs. The bearing capacity of a soil increases with the decrease in the area of footing. The bearing capacity of a soil increases with the decrease in the area of footing. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Which of the following soil is transported by wind? Lowest is soil transported by wind. Which of the following soil is transported by wind? Lowest is soil transported by wind. The longitudinal movement of the rails in track is technically known as creeping. The longitudinal movement of the rails in track is technically known as creeping. The camber, for the drainage of surface water, was first introduced by Trisiguit. The camber, for the drainage of surface water, was first introduced by Trisiguit. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details.
the total rise or fall between any two points chosen on the alignment divided by the horizontal distance between two points, is called average gradient. The total rise or fall between any two points chosen on the alignment divided by the horizontal distance between two points, is called average gradient. When the pH value of water is more than 7, it represents alkaline water. When the pH value of water is more than 7, it represents alkaline water. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics